Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival, fresh off the delivery truck to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Vengeance Rogue Armored Model 351 G2. This fifth wheel toy hauler comes in at 13,990 pounds unloaded as we see it here today and is 45 feet one inch in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and talk about some of the awesome features and and uh, show you all the ins and the outs of this toy hauler fifth wheel. Let's go ahead and we'll jump on in to the inside and we'll start in the living area. All right guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new Vengeance Rogue Armored Model 4007. And we're starting in the living area today and as you can see right there you have a nice four-seater party couch. The cool thing about this, it has the heat massage and the lighted cup holders, which I conveniently forgot to turn on again. Oh well, we'll roll with it. So this is a nice place for the whole family to sit down, kick back, relax, and uh, you know, watch some TV, eat dinner, or you know, play a board game or something. And if we kind of look up here, you'll notice you have the nice zebra shades. So if we get in here just a little closer, you can see that these are a light filtering blind. So you can let in as much or as little light as you want, which is pretty cool. Um, these are found exclusively within the Cherokee product, uh, which is something that we really like. Um, we very heavily... Uh, deal in the Cherokee products and we absolutely love them. I love those two wall sconces and I really like these uh, valances and notice they don't have the curtains or anything coming down the sides that can you know get in the way of anything um, which is pretty nice. As we kind of come over here and spin around this party sofa is directly across from your entertainment center. So as you can see, you have a nice, good-sized LED TV with the 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace down below. <clears throat> and then if we look down here a little closer, you'll notice dual sets of household and USB charger ports there. And this countertop here is a thermofoil pressed membrane countertop. So it's basically like a lightweight solid surface. But also, if we kind of get in here a little closer, you'll notice that uh, you have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system that's made by a company called Driven. They make really good stereo systems for RVs. And if we look up top here, you'll notice you have multiple different speakers in here, which is great. And that big speaker, uh, let me find it again. There we go. That big speaker is a 200 watt subwoofer, which is really nice. It sounds really good. I'll kind of give you a nice preview of the kitchen space here. Um, one thing that I really like, if we look down at the main floor, there's no heat ducts in the floor at all. This is cabinet ducted heating, which is really nice. I absolutely love that. Um, you also notice the nice kind of tile look linoleum and if we look back up top I know I'm kind of jumping around here so please bear with me um, if we look up top here you'll notice that this unit is prepped for the third air, air conditioner in here this comes with two 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioners they're super quiet uh, and extremely efficient one is in the garage and one is in the master bedroom but Pardon me. Um, if you wanted to add the third AC, you're already prepped and braced and wired to do so. Again, nice kitchen. Um, over there in the corner is your breakers and fuses in this box right there. And then while we're here, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about the control panel. So here's your main control panel it's nice and high so the littles can't necessarily get to it one neat thing that you can do with this is um, 
you can Bluetooth this whole panel to your phone. So you can do your lights, your slide out, your awning, your leveling system. And I believe the generator, I'll have to play around with it and see. Um, they're supposed to be coming out with that. Um, and then you can also control the rear camera that comes with this that we'll talk about here in a little bit. So if we look at the panel, um, the nice thing about it is you have physical switches for everything, which is really nice. So you're going to have your water pump and water heater switches, your oops, your 12 volt tank heater switch, a whole bunch of lighting controls, your generator start stop button, your awning controls and your slide out controls, as well as your tank monitoring panel buttons, which is pretty cool. And then right next to that, you have your thermostats for both of your air conditioners. Really handy, really easy to get to. And then as part of the juice pack solar option, you'll see right here you have a handy battery voltage monitor. So the best way I can explain that is it's like a gas tank gauge for your battery. And this is all solid surface countertops, by the way. I'll probably mention that more than once. Um, but again, there's a good look at that entertainment center. Um, and I love the lighting package in here. It is super bright in here with all the lights on. Alrighty, guys. That is going to wrap it up for the living and kitchen area. Let's go ahead, or I'm sorry, the living area. We haven't got to the kitchen area really yet. Let's go ahead and we'll open up all this storage and take a little more in-depth look at the kitchen. All right, guys, so I've got all the storage opened up. And first thing I want to touch on is the storage up here above the entertainment center. So as you can see, you have a nice chunk of storage there. Um, one cool thing about this is all this cabinetry here is all pocket screwed cabinetry, which is really nice. And so the benefit of a pocket screwed cabinetry is this is real wood cabinets. It is still going to have a sticker wrap, but the core of it is wood. And we call that in this industry lumber core cabinets. As we come over here, you have a nice floor to ceiling pantry. As you can see right there, let me adjust this camera just a bit. There we go. So as you can see, you have tons and tons of space here. This is a really decent sized pantry. Could it be a little deeper? Yes, but any storage is better than no storage. Down here, you have a huge pots and pans drawer, and you can see right there under the oven, you have another great place to store pots and pans. And I am going to shut this cabinet. That way it's a little less cluttered. You know, I don't trip over it like in one of the last videos that, that I did. Right here, this is an optional piece of equipment. This is the 13 cubic foot Norcold gas and electric RV fridge. So as you can see, you have plenty of storage space there. Um, freezers up top, fridge on the bottom. This will work off of propane and electricity, which is what you... And there goes the knife tray. Let me grab that real quick. And we'll leave, we'll leave that in there. Uh, anyways, um, but on a toy hauler, you really want a gas electric fridge. Yes, there is a residential option, but most people that... Uh, are buying a toy hauler are going to go out in the boonies. With this, you have you can run it off the propane side. That way, you don't have to run your generator all the time. Pardon me. As we come over here onto the island or peninsula, again solid surface countertops. You have a nice one-piece farm-style sink, little hand, a hand soap dispenser, and then you have the industrial-style sprayer faucet three drawers. Um, you can see this one has all kinds of stuff in it that comes with this trailer, including a tire pressure monitoring system, which is a very handy feature to have. So again, you've got three drawers. This cabinet over here is just nice and deep. I really like that. That's a good utilization of space. And then you've got a spot for a wastebasket. 
That panel there is actually for the microwave in the, or in that box. Over here, you've got your th three burner cooktop with the countertop cover. That will uh, fold up and back as a backsplash. And then if we drop down here, you can see you have a small oven in case you want to do some baking. Um, the cool thing with this oven is this button here will spark in the oven as well as the burners. That way you don't have to light it with a lighter or a match, which is pretty cool. And then we have the nice 30 inch convection mic, or I'm sorry, this is not convection. That is a change that they recently made. 30 inch residential microwave. And then over here, you have a nice chunk of cabinets for all of your plates, bowls, cups, whatever you want to put there. Handy electrical outlets right here, as well as right there. And then this button is for is to turn on and off the fan up top here. So that is a bigger Max Air vent fan. Um, I really wish they would have had the dual switch for power up and down and to turn it on. I feel like that's an area that they missed because unless you're a point guard for your favorite NBA team, you're not going to be able to crank that up and down. And if you appreciate the constructive criticism, we're not all always going to tell you everything that's perfect about this or, you know, any of the RVs that I review, um, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and follow along. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the kitchen. Let's go ahead and we'll jump back to the back of the unit and take a look at the garage. And I'll tell you, this has a lot of features to offer in this toy hauler fifth wheel. All right, guys, so we're back in the garage now of this toy hauler fifth wheel. And as you can see, I have the sofas set up today. So these will roll over and make a, a, a queen size bed. Actually, it's a little bigger than a queen size bed. Um, you've got tons of tie downs on the floor. These are rated at 5,000 pounds a piece, which is awesome. Back here, uh, because of where this fifth wheel is, I'm not able to set up the patio, but you do have the patio system here. And then if we look up top, you can see you have the uh, screen wall tent walls that uh, will roll down to kind of close off this back end. You have the second bunk up above, and if I can do this one-handed, which I'm going to try this right now, so this comes down like so, and then to pull it down, all you do is grab the strap and pull it like that. It is better if you do it with two hands, but if you know you get it, if my skinny arms can do it one-handed, I'm sure you can as well. But that is what the bed looks like when it is down. And then to put it back up, all you do is push up like so. And then whenever you're ready, push up like that. The struts will take over and it will go back up. The reason they're going to this system as opposed to the Happy Jack bed system is this doesn't break very often. The Happy Jacks, we've had a lot of problems with them. Uh, real quick, this is a 13-foot unobstructed garage. If you would like us to measure for your specific toy, we can. Feel free to drop any measurements that you're looking for down in the comment section down below. Or give us a call at 806-335-2336 and we're happy to hand measure any measurements that you're looking for. You can see that you've got... Uh, washer dryer connections up there and then these are the steps that go off the back patio which is really cool if we look up top here you can see you have a nice sized loft and this loft is kind of unique it will actually fold up into cabinets um, you've got tv hookups up there as well which is pretty nice or I'm sorry, powering USB over there 
your TV hookups are actually going to be over here. So you have a TV backer in the wall, so you can mount a pretty good sized flat screen up there, which is pretty nice. Um, but the cool, back to the loft, the cool thing here, you'll notice these little uh, nets. This can actually fold up and turn into extra cabinets if you need it to, if you need extra height for your toy, or if you just want extra storage, which is pretty nice. And then back here, this is one of the reasons this toy hauler, this particular floor plan won toy hauler of the year for fifth wheels from RV News. So you have a full bath back here. Now it's what they call a wet bath, so it's a shower, toilet, and sink all in one. But you have a, it's, it's like a mudroom. And I think this is so neat and so unique. You just don't see this. And if I step in here, you'll notice you have an extra max air vent fan up here and you really have plenty of room you can be upwards of seven eight foot tall and still be able to shower in here comfortably which is really nice then of course you're gonna have your second entry door to go to the outside you can see the ladder for the loft that comes with it and then another neat thing is their door so it's a wider door and this is has what they call a vapor seal on it. So this will seal this off completely from the other uh, from the other side of the of the trailer, which is really nice. It's tinted. Um, you can still see through it, but it's going to keep your fumes, oil, and gas smells from going back up into the rest of the trailer, which is really cool. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the garage area or second bedroom or whatever you want to do it you know that's the that's the beauty of toy haulers they're so functional and really toy hauler isn't the right word i like to call them a sport utility recreational vehicle which is um, more the correct term i think that way you know because you don't have to put toys in here a lot of people use this as a bunkhouse it's a great bunkhouse and it's a two bathroom bunkhouse at that which is really nice and something you don't find in a regular fifth wheel very often anyways with that being said, let's go ahead and we'll jump up front. We'll take a look at the master bathroom and then we'll get on to the master bedroom. Let's go take a look. All right, guys. So entering into the master bathroom, you can see that you have a nice chunk of countertop space, GFI protected outlet, um, nice big sink too, plenty of storage down below. You've got a medicine cabinet up top. And if we kind of come over here, you'll notice plenty of headroom you can be six five and still shower in here comfortably nice big neo angle shower and you've got this spa style fixture that has the hand wand and three or four different uh, spray points plenty of room around the toilet here that is a porcelain foot flush lever toilet in both front and rear bathrooms and then as if you didn't have enough of these you have another max air fantastic vent fan which is awesome and then back behind me real quick, uh, handy light switch right there, you have a nice chunk of linen closet space. I would have liked to have seen some shelving in here, or you know, an extra shelf in each one of these, but that's something you could easily do yourself. All right, guys, and I'm trying not to show the bedroom it's really hard not to because this bedroom is so awesome um, but anyways let's go ahead and we'll jump a little further forward and we'll take a look at the master bedroom let's go and take a look all right guys so stepping into the master bedroom you have some carpet in here i know some people don't like carpet um six one half dozen the other about it so you've got a nice pocket style door to separate off the rest of the trailer and they are going to put a little magnet over here which is kind of neat that way it kind of holds it shut you have another entryway into the ba master bathroom right there a 72 by 80 inch king size adjustable head uh rest bed so they call it a tilt -a bed or that's what i call it but um you've got windows on both sides for cross breeze tons of room in here you've got a uh, nice countertop here you're gonna have a light your lighting controls and your slide out control right there four drawers right here with this huge window for the zebra shades um, 
And then here's where your second air conditioner is going to be. The first one, and I knew I was going to forget to do that, is back in the garage. So that's where that is. But there is storage underneath this bed. Um, I can't show it because we have it tilted up. But this is probably my favorite part of this fifth wheel. So up front here, and you don't find this in fifth wheels very often, you have a true walk-in closet. Hanging rod up top goes all the way across back here. You've got shelving on both sides, shoe storage up front, plenty of room on the floor to be able to put, you know, whatever you need to up there. And because your washer dryer connection is in the back of the trailer in the garage, you have all this space for just clothes or storage or shoes or whatever you want to put in there. I absolutely love this and I wish more toy haulers would would do this actually it's it's a very very nice feature um and you just don't normally get a lot of closet space in toy hauler it, it is what it is but this one man it knocks the storage in the bedroom out of the park so with that being said that's going to wrap it up for the interior let's go ahead we'll jump on the outside walk you around the outside go over some of the cool features and we'll see what you think we'll see you back right about yeah. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this brand new 2021 and a half Vengeance by Forest River model 351 G2. So as you can see, you have a nice fiberglass front cap with LED lights. Down here, you've got the Rhino Box pin box. Uh, that's because of the specific frame that they're using. They have to use this. You can upgrade that if you want. Underneath here, you're going to have your battery box. And the nice thing about this, you can fit eight batteries in here unheard of in a toy hauler. Right next to that, again, pardon any wind noise, it is extremely windy today. You have your Yamaha NPC, or NPS, I'm sorry, uh, 5500 watt inverter generator. So the cool thing with this is it produces 100% clean power. It is going to run slightly more efficient than the Onan. It's a little bit quieter than the Onan as well. Um, it also has a pull start, which the Onan does not, and this has a wireless key fob, and you can start this from your phone, which is pretty cool. A lot of people really like that. I know I sure do. And then this upper storage, or that upper door there is to show you some storage, or to get to some storage, which we'll show you here in a minute. Right here, again, pardon any wind noise. You're gonna have a 30 pound propane tank on each side, and then you can see up in there, that is where your auto leveling controls are. So this has the ground control 3.0 electric automatic leveling system. Right here's gonna be some storage, and we'll do it from this side since it's a little less windy on this side. But as you can see, you have tons of storage space. You can get to it th from three sides, you have uh, some tie downs in there. These black panels are removable so you can access like the back of your water heater and things like that which is really handy. You're gonna have uh, an LED light strip across the top and then there's your cap light switch which is really handy really easy to get to. Right here is gonna be where you fill up your fresh tank, connect city water, um, you have your cable and satellite connections and your outside shower and your universal docking station. And then you've got a black tank flush right underneath it. And then you have your low point drains right there and a handy sewer hose caddy, which is really nice. Right here, you're gonna have your 10 gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition, which is really handy. Um, it's a lot bigger than some of the competition out there in this price point. And then down here, you're gonna have your gray and your black tank levers. Notice they're color coded. So many brands don't do that. And if we look up underneath here, you'll notice that this does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Now you cannot enclose the garage portion because you're hauling fuel and you have a fuel tank back there. Here's one of your slide outs. And then you, of course you have that bedroom slide out. They are cable driven. Uh, that is the most expensive slide out mechanism and it's the lightest weight which is why they use it and it's actually the slide out we system we work on the least contrary to 
urban myths and legends about uh, right here you've got your um, sewer dump and then you can see right here you have another termination area right there for the half bath coming back here you'll notice you have good looking wheels and tires these tires are a Westlake Lion's Head G rated tire they have a five-year defect warranty, two years of roadside assistance, and 12 months no questions asked replacement guarantee on your tires, which is pretty awesome. You don't see that very often. Here's your 50 amp service, and then here is another set of dumps, which is nice. You're, you're going to have a 150 gallon fresh water capacity, 100 gallon black, and 80 gallon gray which is amazing for the toy hauler, especially that 150 gallons. Um, and then I believe you have a black tank flush for that as well, uh, for the back tank. And then right here's your 30 gallon fuel station. Again, you can see this has six point automatic leveling. Right here's gonna be your foldable side ladder so you can get up to the roof and do maintenance. And we're kind of close to the fence, but you can see up there you have dual LED floodlights and your backup camera is mounted up there as well, which is a very nice feature. That's standard, which is a, just a nice addition. Right here, you're gonna have a leash latch so you can tie up your fur babies. You're also gonna have a propane quick connect down there. And then everybody always asks me, what are these? These are the vents for your garage area. And then as you can see, you have a second power awning. You've got the blue LED floodlights and then a porch light above that second entry door. You have the foldable step back here because you don't want a more ride step folding into your garage. Now, if you're gonna use this as a bunkhouse, you could always upgrade that if you wanted to. Again, you get the TST tire pressure monitoring system. And there's another look at those good looking wheels and tires. If we come forward here a little bit, here's where your outside speakers are. Notice they're nice and low so you don't have to crank the volume up to 11. That way uh, you don't annoy your neighbors. And then you've got your nice glass entry door You've got the uh, uh, larger entry assist handle. And then down here, you have your nice quad step Moride step above step system. This will fold up inside the door. It's got adjustable feet, uh, which is very, very nice. And then right here, you have a outside TV bracket with cable and power down below. This is the other side of your uh, storage. And then right here is your last or your second propane tank and you have another decent sized power awning all right guys that is going to wrap it up for the exterior of the 2021 vengeance rogue armored model 351 g2 if you're interested in this fifth one you would like pricing and availability or if you have any questions you can post any questions down in the comment section down below. You can also give me a call at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. If you do me a favor before you leave, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button down below. That lets us know how we're doing. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. And we are more than, or that will keep you up to date on all of our new content for you. And trust me, we've got some neat units coming you're gonna really like what we have to offer here in the next few months. All right, guys, again, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and found this video informative. And remember, at Custom RV, we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. Thanks again, y'all, and we'll see you again very soon.